This is how all my videos start, isn't it? <laughs> it's, me it's me realizing my hair is crazy town. Hi guys, I'm Caroline from carolinevensel.com and I am here today to talk to you about your negative money limiting beliefs. What is a limiting belief really quick? A limiting belief is anything that's inside of your head that tells you a story essentially of everybody who does blank is blank. Because I am blank, therefore in life, I can only blank. So I'll give you guys an example, okay? I had my son when I was 19. Um, I got pregnant when I was 18 <laughs> as a freshman in college. And the story that I told myself for a long, long time was teen moms cannot have a good life. Because I am a teen mom, because I was a teen mom, I deserved to struggle with money. I did this to myself. This is just how it is for people who had a kid when they were 19. Now, the truth, obviously, is that none of that stuff has to be true. None of it has to be true. Can teen moms succeed? Absolutely. freaking -lutely. Does it matter if I got pregnant at 18 or if I got pregnant at 38? Is there anything written in the sky, in the Bible, in the like threads of the universe that this is how it has to be? No. That's not how it works. So those were limiting beliefs that I've had. I have many, many other ones too. We all do. These are things that we pick up over time going through our lives. I grew up believing that because my parents got divorced, I was going to get divorced too. That's a scary thought, right? That would kind of keep anybody away from getting married, but that's not necessarily a money limiting belief. We all have many, many things that keep us stuck that we tell ourselves as kind of a security blanket, as kind of an excuse or an out that we can give ourselves of why our life is the way that it is. I don't make a whole lot of money because I was a teen mom. There it is. That's my excuse. That was the excuse that I carried for a long, long time. But the truth is that that doesn't have to be the way that it goes. The truth is that a lot of the things that are holding us back aren't necessarily our income, aren't necessarily our inability to save. It's the fact that we have blocks in our head around money. So I have this very cool principle for you. It's called change your money story. And we're going to walk through some of the things about limiting beliefs that I go through inside of this amazing principle where you can write down your negative money stories, write down your new money stories where you can change how it goes, get some positive money affirmations and write down some new money affirmations as well. Something that you got to understand about limiting beliefs. If you're like, yeah, whatever, that doesn't really count. Here's the way that it works. We go through our life and we pick up these stories from what we saw usually in our childhood. It all goes back to childhood, guys. And it means something to us. And it sticks to us. And then we go through life carrying around these limiting beliefs. We go through our entire day. And this colors the what we see in the world. It colors our expectations, our perceptions of what we see. All right. So we're going to go somewhere with this because I have an analogy. <laughs> Having limiting beliefs is like lint on leggings. You go through your day, you go through your life, and you pick up lint on your leggings. It just happens. You get home and you're like, how did this happen? How am I covered in all of this stuff? And what do you do? You grab a lint roller and you brush it all off. That's what we are going to do. Your negative limiting beliefs are like the lint that you pick up throughout the day. You don't know how it got there. You don't know where it started. You just know that it's there and you need to get rid of it. You need to use the lint roller of truth. <laughs> You need to use the lint roller of truth to get rid of the lint of limiting beliefs. There's my analogy for the day, guys. They don't have to define us. The limiting beliefs that we have don't have to define us. They don't have to dictate our future. They do not tell us what kind of life you're going to have. They are just things that we pick up over time. The problem, of course, comes in when you don't pick up the lint roller of truth to wipe off the lint of limiting beliefs. That's when it becomes a problem. That's when it starts to shape the way that you see the world. That's when it starts to become its own entity. And we don't want that to happen. So in order to do that, we have to get rid of these limiting beliefs. We need to shed them and say, they no longer define me. They protected my brain from the past. They were things that I saw but it does not have to be that way in the future. One of the biggest ones that I hear about budgeting is that I will budget 
when I have money. I will start a budget when I have money. Well, you don't go to the gym once you're fit. You go to the gym to get fit. You start a budget to have money. Another money limiting belief that I hear a lot is that only poor people have a budget. And that means that if I have a budget, I am poor. And people will think that I'm poor or they'll know that I'm poor and then won't want to be around me. That one has a multi-layered thing to it. Another thing about budgeting is that a lot of people who have budgets can't have fun. If you're on a budget, you can't have fun. You can't travel. You can't have a nice house. You can't have nice clothes. You can't have nice things. You can't go on nice vacations. If you're on a budget, you can't do any of that stuff because it means no fun. Those are all limiting beliefs when in reality, the truth of these things, the real money story behind these things is that people who have money have a budget and that's why they have money. In your budget, you are allowed to put aside money for the things that you want. You do not have to be stuck in a paycheck to paycheck cycle just because your parents were. You are not doomed to a life of struggle with money because your dad was, because your mom was, or because you were a teen mom. None of that stuff has to define you going forward. So what I want you to do today, you don't want to get these super cute printables. No worries. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to break out a piece of paper, fold it in half. I think that what they call it in school is hot dog style, fold it in half. On one side, you're going to write out Every single thing that you can think of that you've picked up over time that is a limiting belief. Write it all down. All of it. You're going to write out all of your negative limiting beliefs around money. I can't have money because people like me don't have money. Budgeting means boop, 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 and boop. Um, I can't be fun and have a budget. I will always live paycheck to paycheck. What are the things that you constantly say about money? Maybe not out loud because obviously like we say these things and I would say that and I'm saying it and it's like, that sounds crazy, right? So you can't actually say them. But what are the things that are going on inside of your head that are saying why you will always be stuck, why you will always suck with money, why you will always be the kind of person that you are, how you are doomed to be something. Write it all down on a piece of paper. And on the other side of that paper, write a new story. You don't have to believe it right now. You don't have to say like, I'm a millionaire. You don't have to believe that kind of thing right now, unless you can really get behind it, then more power to you. But let's just write something out. I'm doomed to suck with money. Is that true? Ask yourself, is that true? Is that the truth of the world, of the universe? I'm going to suck with money forever. Is that the truth? No. Is it written, again, in the sky, in the Bible, in the threads of the universe, tattooed on your arm? Is it written there? No. Then does that mean that you can change it? Yes, it does. So write that down. Maybe it's people who have a budget are allowed to have fun. I am allowed to save money. I am going to have that dream vacation and still pay off my debt. I am going to have my dream house. All of those different kinds of things that change your negative money story from I will always live in a studio apartment because I am broke. Change that to I will have a nice house. I will have a yard. I will have the furniture that I love. I will have the decor that I love. I will have that perfect dream Instagram perfection kitchen. Change your story. Here's what I do. I keep my new money stories. I keep my new money stories wherever I can read them. Usually they're on my desk. And this way I can go through the day and whenever I'm feeling down about my money, I go back and I read them. I am going to be a millionaire. I am going to break generational curses of my parents. I am going to be the first woman millionaire in my family. Money gets easier and easier to work with the more that I practice. Just because I am a teen or I was a teen mom, that doesn't define my future. I keep this where I can see it every single day. And whenever I feel down about myself, I look at that piece of paper and I remind myself of the actual truth. The stories that we tell ourselves inside of limiting beliefs are not the actual truth. They don't have to define you. Now you have homework. You're welcome. You were just watching this video. Now you have homework. Write down all of your limiting beliefs. Get them out onto paper. Look at them. Stare them in the face. Even if you feel crazy writing them down, write it down. Change the story. Look at the better story and choose to believe that that is how it's going to be for you going forward with your money. You are not stuck. You are not trapped. 
Let go of all the negative stuff that's keeping you stuck and trapped, and you will be amazed at how much lighter and easier you feel. All right, guys, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.